hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this tutorial I am going to create a fun bubbly background image so continue watching if you would like to learn how I do it as usual we are going to create a new canvas go to file new adjust the size and click ok I am going to fill the background in black go to edit fill black click ok then I am going to create an adjustment layer and select solid color then pick a burgundy shade and click ok now I am going to create a new layer and rename it to clouds for this layer I am setting the foreground and background color lighter red for foreground and blue for background you may choose whatever color you like then for the same layer I'm going to add a filter go to filter render select clouds now I'm changing the blend mode to multiply moving on slightly I'm going to create another new layer and call it shadow then using the brush tool color red is fine make sure it's a soft edge round brush and change the size to about 50 then I'm going to make random strokes like this while changing the color every now and then once you are done with drawing random strokes go to filter blur Gaussian blur change the radius to 100 pixels and click ok now I am going to create a new layer called clouds 2 and repeat the steps from the previous clouds layer so again selecting the foreground background color as any color then filter render clouds ok so I'm going to backtrack a little using Ctrl and Z because I don't really like the colors I have chosen so I'm going to change that and repeat the filter render cloud step now to change the layer blend mode color change opacity to 75 percent now back to creating a new layer rename the layer to brush making sure the brush tool is selected a hard edge round brush and the hardness is set to 100% then click on brush toggle and select brush tip shape and change the spacing percentage to 200 I'm also going to select shape dynamics and set the size zeta to 100% also selecting scattering and setting the scatter to over 500% and changing the count to 4 then moving on to selecting color dynamics check the apply part tip Lastly, select transfer and change the opacity zeta to 100% and the flow zeta to 100% too. Now I am going to paint randomly on the canvas while changing the size of the brush here and there using the square bracket. You can also play around by changing the foreground and background colors like I am here. Then once you are happy, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 
change to 4 pixels and click OK. Now for the last few steps, I'm going to create a new layer and call it gradient. Then continue drawing random circles like before. Here you can still resize the size of the brush for variety. Then click on add a layer style icon. Gradient overlay. Gradient. You can experiment with the preset and gradient color you prefer. And you are done. There we have a simple tutorial on how to create a bubble background. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also feel free to leave any suggestions for more videos you would like to see. Bye.